fresh coffee. Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? Don't miss tonight's Sunday Night Live. I mean, seriously, seriously, don't miss it. Powerful information, and it has a lot to do with what's going on in the heavens. Matter of fact, let me share with you right now, uh, the head of NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office, Dr. Bill Cook, often lets cameras do his sky watching for him. He and his colleagues operate a nationwide network of automatic fireball observatories that capture anything that burns into Earth's atmosphere. Now, according to NASA, on the morning of May the 24th, coming up, folks, coming up May 24th, the plans go out the window, folks, because even Bill Cook is going to go out and stand and look into the heavens with the naked eye. Why? He says, quote, there could be a new meteor shower, and I want to see it with my own eyes. Well, the shower is the May uh, meteor shower that's coming, caused by the dust from periodic comet linear. Folks, we're going to go in, we're going through comet linear's debris field, not a debris trail as we've always dealt with when it comes to comets. This will be the closest comet since the 1700s. This comet will be closer than the moon. Are you serious? And it's going to happen that it won't hit the earth. Don't worry, it's not going to hit the earth. But this debris field, field, not trail, but field, is 2.1 million miles wide. And as the earth goes through this field, we're without question, going to encounter some meteorites and asteroid activity, which could, and who knows what it could really do. We don't know, but it will certainly light up the sky with meteor activity. Now, um, some of the forecasters are predicting more than 200 meteors visible per hour. Um, Comet Linear was discovered in February 2004 by the Lincoln Near-Earth Asteroid Research Project, a cooperative effort of NASA, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Lincoln Library, and the United States Air Force. It is relatively dim comet that dips inside the orbit of the Earth every, once every five years as it loops around the sun but never this close. And two years ago, meteor experts in Finland say uh, they announced that the Earth was due for an encounter with debris from Comet Linear. They said streams of dust ejected by the comet mainly back in the 1800s would cross the Earth's orbit May 24, 2014. The result, they said, could be of significant meteor outburst. Now, other experts agreed in part. There is a broad consensus among forecasters that Earth will indeed pass through the debris stream or debris field on May 24th. However, no one is sure how much debris is waiting. You know why? Because we've never done this before. Folks, we've never done this before. And you know what's really wild about this? May 24, 2014, the Pope, Pope Francis, is going to step foot on the cobblestone streets of Jerusalem the same day. Did he know this was coming? Or is this just a sign in the heavens? Remember, there's been controversy. In the last week, there was rumors that the Pope, the Vatican, was wanting to take over King David's tomb. But it even there was even protesting going on outside the tomb there in Jerusalem. I've been there. I've walked up to the tomb of David twice back in the 1990s, and I did it last May, this time last year. And it's always an a, a, a overwhelming, powerful visitation when you just go to the tomb of King David and understand that Jesus Christ is the seed 
uh, the seed the, of, of David. I mean, it just you can't help but understand it. But but anyway, it was so intense the conversation that it even went all the way to the Knesset this week. And the foreign minister was put on the spot live on the Knesset floor and asked, is this true? Is there a deal being worked with the Vatican to give up King David's tomb? And he said, no, there is no deal. All right, well, maybe that puts that to rest, but it doesn't change historical visitation of Pope Francis, who many feel will be the final pope in history of humanity because of a prophecy from St. Malachi uh, that has over 500 years ago. Well, I think it was even a thousand years ago. Yeah, it was about a thousand years ago. Now he says, uh, so the same time that the Pope is arriving in Jerusalem, Comet Linear is arriving into the Earth's atmosphere, or excuse me, orbit, and we and the Earth passes through this debris field We've never done this before. We don't know what this means. Um, the best time for you to view this will be between 6 and 8 a.m. Universal Time on May 24th, or between 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning of Eastern Daylight Time. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to get up. I'm going to be out there. I'm praying it's a clear, beautiful, starry night. I really hope it's a starry night. Um, Wherever you are in the world, please. Now, the North Americans have the best view. So if the sky is clear, you I tell you, those of you in Canada and those of you in uh, Michigan and Minnesota and Wisconsin, New York, uh, you know, uh, Pennsylvania, Indiana, all of us have a great view of this uh, if the weather is clear. North Americans are favored because for them, the peak occurs during nighttime hours while the radiant is high in the sky. We expect these meteors to radiate from the point uh, as known as the graffiti, a faint constellation near the North Star, says Cook, and it will be up all night, a long, a long night for anyone who wishes to watch. Okay, so keep an eye on what's going on in the heavens. The Bible says... There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring. And men's hearts are failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth. Now, it is possible that we could have the type of activity with meteorites breaking through the earth's atmosphere similar to what happened during that Russian meteorite that damaged over a 1,000 buildings and injured 1,500 people in February of last year. That was from one meteorite that was only about the size of a, of 100 pounds that crashed into a frozen lake in Siberia, and it still did that much damage. Who knows what we will encounter? We could be seeing a Revelation chapter 8 moment or a precursor to what has been prophesied in the book of Revelation. This is something no one knows. Now, while that's going on, I want you to know there is some other things taking place in space. Star Wars crisis from Ukraine has moved to the International Space Station up in space as the two superpowers, the United States of America and Russia, are now starting to duke it out in space. I'm going to tell you about that in my next video. You don't want to miss today's live broadcast. Sunday Night Live. Uh, it will be at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Don't miss it from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern. We will be live at my website. Also live stream and new live stream and blog talk radio and Roku satellite television and on 25 international networks across the world as we expect a powerful broadcast for you tonight. We're believing God's going to save many souls and lives are going to change and I want you to be up to speed with the current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy and the power of the Word of God. I'll be right back with this next video on wars, Star Wars in space. I'll be right back in Jesus' name.